Hello everyone. So for today's video, I thought I would go through all of the covers on my bookshelf and pick out my top 10 favorites. So I know they say you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but it is obviously something that most of us do. It just contributes so much more to the story, and I just think that it's the first thing that draws your eyes to a book. So I decided to go through my whole bookshelf and pick out the top 10 books that really stand out to me and their covers are my favorite and that I think contribute most to the story. Now these aren't any, these aren't in any particular order. Um, I just picked the ones that I liked and I will let you know if some of them are higher up on my list. Um, but yeah, most of these are just some that I picked out and I really enjoy. So the first book on my list is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald and this is one of the best books that I had to read in school and it's one of the books that has, um, that the love for this book has followed out of school. My favorite thing about this cover is definitely the, the eyes and the mouth and I love the city at the bottom. I just think it really captivates what the story is about and about the 1920s and just like the hardship everybody's going through because it looks like the eyes are crying and I just think that it really captures the story as a whole. Now the next book that I have is actually The Cruel Prince and even though I did not like this book, I really did enjoy the cover. I think it's really pretty. I think it does um, capture what the story is about with the trees and um, there's a little bug there and I really like the crown. Um, I really like the typography. I really like the white and how the black letters stand out and how you can see the details of the story. And honorable mention, I also really do like the Wicked King's cover as well. But yeah, even though I did not like this book, I do enjoy the cover. I think it's nice to look at and it does captivate what the story is about. Now the next book that I have is Carnival. And this is the paperback edition, but it's very shiny. I don't know if you can see that, but it does like shimmer and glitter and it's just red details all around the top and then there's a blue star in the middle and I have not read this book yet but my boyfriend got it for me for my birthday and I'm really excited to get into the story but um and I like how on the side there's like blue shimmers I like the simplicity of it I think it's captivating while not being too busy and I just I'm not sure if it represents the story well but I just think overall it's just a really pretty cover. Now my next two books actually go together because they are Truly Devious and The Vanishing Stare. And once again, I really, really like the covers of these. Uh, I think that they do capture what the books are about. So we'll start off with Truly Devious. I really like the dark cobalt blue color with the orange. I think it makes it stand out. I think it's unique. I like the colors, um, I like the colors orange and blue together, so that's another reason why I like this cover. I really like the font that they chose for Truly Devious. I think that it fits well with the story and the plot. And I really like the vines everywhere because the story does take place kind of in like the woods, kind of in the mountains, and I think that it just kind of captures the story and it's really simple but it tells you about the book at the same time. So The Vanishing Stare I really like because it actually reminds me a lot of Hogwarts because there's so, a bunch of stairs and they're just kind of going in all different directions and it carries on to the back of the book. But I really like this ruby red color and the blue of the um, of the author's name and kind of just the little snippets of the story and I just think that once again I like the font that they chose for the title and I just think that overall it's a really gorgeous cover. Next I have Mr. Penumbrum's 24 hour bookstore and this book is really freaking cool because it is actually just books on a bookshelf and it goes around the entire book but this book is actually really cool because it glows in the dark 
and um, it's really cool like just sitting in my bed and I look over to my bookshelf and the book is glowing so that's something that I think is pretty unique and you don't see very often in books um, but this one definitely does it's very simple once again if you couldn't tell I like very simple covers but yeah, I think it's just really simple, and it has like a neon yellow, neon green, whatever color you want to say it is, but I'm going to say it's yellow. Um, and it's just the books, and it just really captivates what the story is about, and about his bookstore, and it's a magical bookstore. And I really liked this book, and I think that the cover just kind of drew me in, and some made it something that I wanted to read. So the next book on here is something that is kind of unexpected, but I chose Breaking Dawn. And the reason I chose this is because, once again, it is very, very simple, but I think that this cover is the best at accurately depicting what happens in the book, and I think it's because it is when Bella becomes a vampire, so it's kind of, I just think of it this way, like, this is Bella, and that's Edward, and kind of just like, he's like approaching her and eventually does take that innocence from her when she becomes a vampire and I really like the chessboard I really like how it like fades into black and then you see the one red chess piece I think this is the prettiest cover out of all of the Twilight Saga and it just truly captivates the final closure of the series and that this choice was a cool one to go with so the next book on my shelf that I've chosen is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak and this one is just so simple once again it's so simple but i think it truly encompasses what the story is about because it's showing the little girl um who is the main character of the story and death kind of dancing because the story is narrated by death so that's something that's really cool and um i think that it just really captures the innocence of the girl and death just kind of dancing the whole the whole book the whole story and it's kind of on this looks like stained old um, paper and I just really like the look of it I like the typography once again and I just think that the illustration of the girl and death is actually really beautiful and I just think that it is a stunning cover so my second to last book is Murder on the Orient Express and Other Hercules Poirot Mysteries by Agatha Christie and this is one of the like collector's editions one of the ones that they sell at Barnes and Nobles and it does have the metallic rose gold sprayed edges which I think is so beautiful and I really like the cover because they're on a train which because the Orient Express is a train and it's really really cool because on the front they have Hercules I don't know how well you can see that but it has Hercules kind of pulling out the light and then on the back you turn it over and the hand is out the window and the cup has fallen over so it kind of just shows like the murder and I just think I love the blue colors I love the shimmer of the cover I lo once again I love the blue and kind of like the orangey rose gold colors together and I just think that overall it's a gorgeous book and it comes with the little bookmark and I just think that it is awesome. Now my last book cover is actually a Harry Potter and it is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban and this is the new, um, one of the newer editions that they sold the series in. It's the one where it makes Hogwarts on the spines but out of all of the covers this one it has to be my favorite. I love the purple and the blue hues. I love the Patronus on the cover and how it's shown. I love the Dementors all around and you can see Harry def like fighting them off and then that's also him back there because that's what happens in the story is he defeats his own um, Dementors and I really like the back because Lupin is my favorite Hogwarts professor. So, and they're all standing around him while he's teaching his lesson. And I just think that overall it is such a gorgeous cover. And I really like the purple and the blue once again. And I think that this one does a really good job of capturing what this book is about. And kind of Harry coming to terms with 
himself and and realizing that he is the one that's gonna have to save himself from now on because originally this is a spoiler but I mean I'm sure everybody already knows that he thought it was his dad and then it turns out to be him who saved himself so I just think that's a really cool concept and yeah so those are my top 10 book covers on my shelf and I really hope you enjoyed this video and I plan to do one of my top 10 book covers of all time kind of just things that I don't own but yeah so please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and like if you like my content and I hope to see you in the next video